I was asked this week if I could address why trainers black out after losing in Pokemon. And I am a servant of the people, thus your theory shall be addressed today. Sign in and get ready to take a trip to the glitch dimension with good old Gen 1, because today's video will explain something that has been asked for 20 years. Blocking out or whiting out is a condition that happens to a trainer when they lose within the Pokemon games. In the anime, trainers do not black out, but then again, their Pokemon heal up themselves after battles in the anime also without needing healed from their joy. As for the manga, well, Pokemon can straight up die in the manga, so let's just stick to the games for this one. First, I want to define what is blacking out or whiting out before continuing. Blackouts can be caused by any substance, but are most frequently associated with GABA drugs. Impairment of the liver will also allow more alcohol to reach the brain and hasten the individual's blackout. The term blackout can also refer to a complete loss of consciousness or cinescope. And whiting out, which is essentially the same thing without the general use of drugs. Whiting out replaced blacking out in Pokemon, probably because it had little or nothing to do with the alcohol or drug use. Makes sense. When someone asks, why do trainers black out in Pokemon, well the answer actually has nothing to do with the definition other than losing consciousness. The reason for blacking out in the games is so crazy, ridiculous, and outlandish you probably won't even believe it until I show you. Within Pokemon, at the start of every game, you, the new trainer, are tasked with picking a starter. However, what happens if you don't get a Pokemon and just go into the grass instead. But Bruno, you have to pick a starter to leave in town. And right you are. Professor Oak loses his mind if you go into that grass. If instead you use a glitch though to walk through walls, you can indeed leave the first town in every generation without a Pokemon. And if you have no Pokemon, the game sees it as you having no usable Pokemon as well. Meaning, they are all fainted and you should have blacked out. Somehow, you didn't though. I am going to focus on Gen 1, but every generation has a similar experience to Gen 1 if you get into high grass without a usable Pokemon. Essentially what happens is that you have no more usable Pokemon, but you encounter a wild Pokemon or a trainer, well, a dimensional rift opens and the world gets destroyed. Basically, if you somehow get out of that situation, you will have a glitch mess left over afterwards. And if you do not, well then, enjoy your burnt pop tart of a Pokemon and your endless locked up world. Meet. Three Trainer Poke, an abomination created by having all fainted Pokemon. These are the types of results yielded when you do not have usable Pokemon, but encounter a wild one or a trainer. This is the game's explanation, and there is not really any real world explanations for this. As if your Pokemon were all fainted, there would be no reason for you to not be able to just walk back to the Pokemon Center or fly back, as fainted Pokemon can still use HMs or dig, or use an escape rope, or even teleport back. In the remake Fire Red and Leaf Green, if you encounter a Pokemon without your own Pokemon, well, you will throw money at the Pokemon and then run away, and essentially, that is why you black out, since there is no way to battle the said random encounters. Newer games have fixed the glitchy mess, but, uh, while throwing out a question mark and running away is hardly a good fix, though a fix nonetheless. Before I go, I will leave you with this collaboration of interesting things that happened to me without a Pokemon in various Pokemon games.
People used to think the wild Pokemon would attack the trainer and knock him out or cause him to black out, but it's actually much worse than that. So the question answered, the reason trainers black out in Pokemon games is that if they didn't, the world would literally be destroyed. And as silly of an answer as that is, it is indeed the truth. Oh, okay, okay, there it is. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's still going! Oh my god! I have entered, like, the seventh circle of sound hell. Ladies and gentlemen, leave me a like if that glitchy mess didn't scramble your brain, and I'll see you next time with a new Pokemon Theory. Thanks for watching, I've been your host, Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming, and God bless.